Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So this is your at home core ab focused workout. This is actually part of my functional Friday series where I pick a muscle group to talk about on Fridays, breaking down the function of it, some functional exercises. And then on Tuesdays, AKA today, you get your workout to accompany it. So for our workout today, we are gonna be starting out on the mat and then we will finish with a little hit finisher. Um, you will need one dumbbell. I recommend something between eight to 12 pounds. I'm using a 10 myself. Um, but that is pretty much it. So let's make our way onto the mat for that warm up. So starting our warm up on the mat, we're actually gonna do a cat cow to begin. So dropping the belly down, bringing the focus up as we inhale, big exhale, pulling back up. So for our warm up, I actually, I really love starting with the cat cow for a lot of reasons. But right here, we're just bringing a lot of mobility into the spine, especially if we've been working all day or sitting a lot. It's just gonna help stop to blah, 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 English, start to relieve some of that tension. Good, bring it back to the center. We'll pop the hips over to the right for some lateral flexion and over to the left. Good, few more each direction. Perfect, give me one more each side. Last one, all right. Let's bring the right leg out to the side for some adductor rocks. So we're gonna sit the hips back, getting a nice inner thigh stretch and then coming back forward. So your inner thighs, your hip flexors, they all connect up into your pelvis, up in toward your abdominals. So we just wanna make sure that everything down there is nice and loose, nice and you know activated so that we don't have any kind of muscle imbalances pulling on anything that we don't want to be working. Good, let's switch sides. Perfect, sitting those hips back and forward. Let's do two more right here. Good, last one. All right, coming back up, let's actually tuck the toes, lift the knees up, making sure they're right under the hips. Little micro bend in the elbows, spiraling them back. And we should start to feel those abdominals activate here. If this is too much, you can always give me some hovers instead. So drop in the knees, bringing them up. Good, and we're gonna start to pull the low abs up in three, two, and one. So we come up and down, and down. So guys, this is less about pumping the hips up and more about finding a little round of that low back. If you watch the video that we talked about ooh, on Friday, low abs, or sorry, abdominals are in charge of flexing the lumbar spine, just like what we're doing now. Three, two, and one, perfect, bring it down, walk it down to the forearms. We're gonna take a few knee circles here. And switch directions, keeping your chest nice and wide. Good, let's switch legs. Perfect, and switch directions here. Keeping that chest lifted, shoulders retracted. Perfect, making your way back up to your plank. And we'll do a little active uh, cat cow, or, wow, down dog to your plank here. So bring your hips up, bringing the hips back down. So you'll feel this stretch through the hamstrings, through the calves, through your shoulders. Good, one more here. And then we'll hold that plank. We're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, drop it down to the knees. We'll start with an alternating bird dog. So what I'm trying to do here, I'm just kind of trying to warm up the core, the arms, loosen up those hips by doing more of a static hold and then moving through a position. So we're kind of mixing active and static movements here. Good, one more each direction. That's it, let's pop back onto those toes. We're gonna go for shoulder taps to burn it out. Here we go, just 10. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, hips don't move, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Widen the knees, find a child's pose, sit it back. Whew. All right, that is your quick, efficient warm up. We are gonna get jumping in to that circuit in just a moment. All right guys, so hopping right into our circuit, we are going to do, I think it's 10 exercises. I can't really count it. I think it's 10. We're gonna do 10 exercises 
45 seconds on, 15 seconds to get to the next one, just one time through. Now we are gonna be doing a good chunk of unilateral training, so just keeping in mind, if we do something on one side, we still have to go back and do it on the other. So I'm gonna grab my 10 pound weight. First exercise is a hollow hold with a bicep curl. So if you wanna drop a little bit lighter for this, if you're really feeling it in the low back, that's totally fine. But we're gonna bring the legs out in front of us. Right arm has the weight, upper body is hovering as we're pulling in and out with that arm. Let's start it up in three, two, and one. So guys, you're gonna feel right off the bat, this is um, difficult, all right? Especially as that weight comes farther away from your center of gravity. So first thing I want you to do if this is too difficult, bring your legs up to tabletop. That's gonna take a lot of the pressure off of the low back. Now, if this weight that you chose is a little too heavy, drop it down. Maybe a five is gonna be a better option for you. Good, making sure that that low back is connected down to the mat the entire time. You have 15 seconds. Remember, we only do this once on each side. I'm gonna bring my legs up for a second. Nice work. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Let that go. 15 seconds, we're going for a quarter get up. So we're gonna keep the weight in the right arm and your uh, right leg is gonna be bent, all right? Left arm out to the side. We're gonna press into the hand, into that foot as we come up onto the forearm and then bring it back down. All together in three, two, and one. So we're coming up, taking your focus to the dumbbell and back down. I'm actually gonna switch to this side just so you guys can see me a little bit better. So I'm pressing up, opening the chest, keeping that focus up at the dumbbell and then back down. So my forearm is staying on the ground the entire time, not coming all the way up to our half get up quite yet. Good. You got about 20 seconds left here. Now with our workout today, remember, we're only going through each of these exercises once. So if you wanna pause after we're done our circuit, go back and repeat, you're more than welcome to. You have three, two, and one. All right, let that go. We're gonna drop the weight coming into an active plank next. So very similar to those um, little pulses we did in the tabletop position in our warm up. Finding your forearm plank, we'll meet there in three, two, and one. Good, so from here, we're gonna pull the low back up rounding, and then we're gonna bring it back down. Good, so very similar to those tabletop crunches that we did in our warm up again. Guys, I tried really hard to leave my hair half up, half down, because I just got it done yesterday and it was having a good hair day. <laughs> but now I'm kind of regretting it as I'm swimming in my hair. So this is one of my favorite functional ab um, exercises that I talked about in the Friday video. If you need to modify it, you can always drop down to the knees. That's gonna be a great option. 10 seconds left here. Good. You're almost out. We have four, three, two, and one. Let it go. All right, we're coming back to that hollow hold with the bicep curl. This time, left arm has the weight. So I'm gonna make myself down. Good. We have three, two, and one. So legs are hovering, pulling that weight in and out. So big exhale, forcing the low back down and out. Good, remembering your modifications here. Knees can be in over those hips. If you need to modify even more, bring your feet down to the mat here. Keeping that chest nice and lifted. Good, you got about 20 seconds left. Now guys, the great thing about having all those modifications is that as you fatigue, you see, I'm just gonna bring my knees in so I can keep going. You have 10 seconds left. Nice work. Relax the shoulders down. We're almost there. It's four, three, two, and one. Woo, quarter get up other side. So I'm just gonna switch so you guys can see my body. Weird thing to say. We have five, four, three, two, and one. So the same arm that has the dumbbell is always gonna be the same leg that's bent. All right. Good. So focus these on the dumbbell and you wanna keep that arm straight up and down. This is one of my favorite oblique exercises. Good. Now we are gonna be hitting the abdominals in this too. So as we come up, you can see that spine is rounding. Remember what 
the abdominals are used for flexion. All right. Good. You have just under 15 seconds. Now, if this is too tough with the dumbbell, ditch it, get rid of it. Nice job. We're almost there. We got three, two, and one. Let that go. All right. We're gonna switch the dumbbell into the right arm for the next exercise. We're gonna hold it up, knees start in tabletop, left hand on the mat, and we're just gonna pedal those legs out like a bicycle, okay? Here we go in two and one. So I really emphasize that we're starting this from tabletop because what I don't wanna see is that we're bringing the knee all the way into the chest. That's gonna really start to activate the hip flexor. We really want it to be in those abdominals, all right? Now again, we're probably wondering how is this hitting the abs? Or, well, no, we're probably feeling it, so we're like, I understand, Justina. But if we're flat like this, this is our neutral spine. Once we start to pull that upper body up, we're starting to round right here, flexion in the lumbar spine. That's how we get into the abdominals, guys. You have less than 15 seconds. Now, we're also hitting that oblique because we're weighted on one side of the body. So our hips are gonna wanna rock over here. By pushing this opposite hip down, we're activating the obliques. And one, let it go. Whew, all right, drop that weight. Good old fashioned side plank, nothing fancy. Whew, less than 10 seconds. I'm not even gonna demo it because I'm sure we know what it is, but I guess I should. Here we go, three, two, we're all here, one. So we're on that forearm, legs are stacked. If you wanna advance it, bring that top arm up. You can always separate that leg on top too. That's gonna to start to get the inner and outer thigh. Now, if this is a little bit too much, first thing I want you to do is try staggering the feet. That might take a little pressure off the knees. After that, drop down to the knees completely. The goal here is to keep pushing that bottom hip up. You're gonna feel that in the oblique on the bottom of your body. Whoo, about 15 seconds. Now starting to think about your neck and your shoulders. A lot of times we get really stuck right here. Think length. We always wanna keep that cervical spine in line with the rest of the torso. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Set it down. We're gonna go for a plank to pike. If you have gliders, you can actually do this on gliders and it's super effective, but I'm just gonna walk the feet in and out. So we're on the hands. We're gonna walk the feet up, leading from the hips, and then back down. Two and one. So we're pulling up, 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 leading from the hips as far as you can control before you have to round, and then back down. So guys, we're actually resisting the rounding of the back here, or that spinal flexion. Good. That's it. And back down. Whew. If you need to hold the plank at any point, you're more than welcome to. Good, just about 15 seconds left. And making sure we're always coming back into that full plank. We don't wanna like end here and then start to go back up. 10 seconds. Whew. We got that side plank, other side in three, in two, and one. <sighs> Let it go. All right, side plank. Oh, actually the overhead hold with the bicycle first. We gotta come back to that guy first. Here we go, in five, four, three, two, and one. So we haven't even left the mat, but I'm like, I'm getting a little winded. I don't know about anybody else. So guys, I am keeping this. We only have one more exercise before we stand up for that hit circuit. I'm keeping it short because a lot of times people do have pretty weak cores. So the last thing that we need to do is be doing like 50 minute core focused mat work. All right. Whew on those hip flexors, shake it out. So this is like a very traditional mat floor work, except for the fact that we're like holding a weight up above our head, all right? Um, honestly, the best way to work your core as a whole is gonna be doing much more standing exercises. You have three, two, and one. Good, side plank. But since we're trying to take an abdominal focus, you are gonna hit more of the abdominals in these mat-based exercises. All right, got about five seconds. Good, three, two, and one. Stack those legs, ooh, there we go. Perfect, so let's just make sure right off the bat we've got shoulder over the wrist and then shoulder right over the other shoulder. A lot of times we start to kind of inch around to take pressure off of the joint. Good, and this is my weaker side, so let's see if I can make it the whole time. Remember, if you need to, Drop the knees down, stagger the knees or stagger the legs. 
You've got just under 20 seconds. I think this is my weaker side because I always do it second. So I need to get out of that habit. Less than 10. Woohoo! We got five, four, three, two, and one. Lower that down. Oh, take 30 seconds. We are gonna meet standing for that hit circuit and then we stretch, we're out. I'll see you there. All right, guys, this is going to serve as our finisher. So we have five exercises, one time each, all right? 40 seconds on, 20 seconds to get to the next exercise. If you see like moving boxes and random things, just we're moving in like a week and a half, so bear with me, all right? So we are starting with some knee drives. Let me get that timer started. We're going to start facing the right, left knee comes in right on the floor in three, in two, and once reaching out, pull the knee in. 40 seconds here. So remember, we're only doing it once. So I want you to really find your focus, try to push through at that same tempo the whole time. Now, if you need to slow it down, totally fine. All right, got 20 seconds left. You're gonna start to feel that standing leg burn. That's it, three, oh no, 10 seconds, sorry, my bad. Woo! Good, you have five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down to your plank. So I know we said we were standing, we're gonna alternate back and forth, okay? We've got a spider swipe just with the right leg. So right knee comes to the outside of the left elbow, bring it across and down. We're gonna go there whew, for 40 seconds in four, Three, two, and one. Here we go. Outside, cross, and down. Good. Now, if you need to drop to the knees here, totally fine. You're gonna take that right arm, bring it out, tap it to the left shoulder, and down. And you're gonna keep it on that same side. So all we're trying to do here is manipulate our center of gravity, right? Bringing something away from us, keeping the hips in one place. Bringing it across the body, keep the hips in one place. Bring it down, keep the hips in one place, okay? That's the whole goal. You have less than 10 seconds. Good, it's five, four, three, two, and one. Stand it up, knee drives other side. You have 20 seconds here, so let your heart rate come down. That's the whole point of HIT. It's that work to rest ratio, so you don't wanna work during your rest, all right? Less than 10 seconds. Woo! Here we go in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. So I say it every time I teach, in every video that I give you guys, my exhales are effing obnoxious, all right? But what that exhale is doing, it's helping me protect my low back because I'm engaging my core in that position. Every exhale is a, is a brace, okay? So, sound like an asshole, like me. It's gonna make you stronger, and it's gonna help you protect your spine. You have 10 seconds. Good, we have four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. Are we glad we're only doing this once? Now again, just like I said for our mat circuit, you can always stop, rewind, and do it again if you want to. Less than 10 seconds, spider swipe other side. Good, three, two, and one. Bringing the knee across, or outside, then across, and down. Outside, across, and down. Keep that going. Keep the chest lifted. Good, remember if you need to, that modification, you're on the knees, hips are down and forward, left arm comes out, across and down. What we don't wanna do is spiral the hips open. Keep pushing that left hip down. Good, little micro bend in the elbows. Just about 10 seconds left here. Nice job, you have one more exercise after this. Good, four, three, two, and one, stand it up, 
20 seconds. Whoo! All right. Here we go, final 10. Oh, what are we doing? Ha ha ha. High cross knee body pulls. All right, so knees coming across, keeping the chest lifted in three, in two, and one. Let's go. So as we bring the knee up, notice that my back is not rounding forward. I'm staying nice and tall, using those low fibers of the abdominals to pull the knee up, all right? As we bring the knee across, that's activating your oblique chain. Halfway there. Try and get full extension of those arms. What we're doing there, by bringing the arms up, we're trying to keep the rib cage closed. That's your abs working, let's go. Good, you have five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo! Set those feet open and apart. Nice job, guys. <sighs> Just gonna slowly let that heart rate come down. <sighs> All right, good. Let's turn to face the side. We're just gonna take a hamstring stretch. <sighs> so bringing that right leg in front, hinging from the hips. So we did some standing work at the end. We just wanna make sure those hamstrings are nice and loose. Good, coming back up, we'll just kick, ball change, pivot to the other side. Beautiful. And then at the back of your mat, we'll just bring the forehead down, diving all the way down. And you're gonna lower it onto your stomach, pressing the chest up for your cobra. So I'm like in between a baby cobra and a full cobra. There we go. So if you need that baby, just coming right here. Good, knees open wide, find your child's pose. And start to walk the hands over to the left, stacking the right hand on top. Good, and then over to the right, left hand on top. Good. Shifting up, coming back to the center. Just find a nice crisscross position with those legs, finding your sits bones. And we'll take a nice stretch up and over to the right. Really working that oblique chain. And over to the left, up and over, dropping that shoulder down away from the ear. And we'll take a twist. Left hand to the right knee. Big torso twist. And over to the other side. Good, back to the center. One more stretch here. We'll bring the soles of the feet together for our butterfly and we fold it forward. Getting those hip flexors, low back. And let's come back up, shake those legs out. Whew. And end in that crisscross position. We'll breathe those arms up to the sky. Breathe the arms up, big inhale. Big exhale, pull it down into heart center. Take it with you for the rest of your day and make a little noise. Thank you guys so much for working out with me today. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. We have one more functional, yeah, one more functional Friday coming up. So definitely check that out. Just a heads up, it is going to be all about the chest or the pecs, all right? So I will see you on Friday. Goodbye.